Live from the Sands Convention Center, Las Vegas, Nevada. Extracting the signal from the noise, it's The Cube. Covering AWS reInvent 2015. Now your host, John Furrier. Okay, welcome back everyone. We are here live at Amazon reInvent. This is theCUBE, SiliconANGLE's flagship program. We go out to the events, extract the signal noise. I'm John Furrier with SiliconANGLE. Our next guest is Ken Linger, Lease Hawk, Director of Enterprise Systems at Lease Hawk. Welcome to theCUBE. Hello, how are you? We love talking to customers and practitioners because you're out in the field. You've got to actually make things work, right? right exactly. And that's the, the, at the end of the day, that's where the rubber meets the road. That's why we're here. Andy Jassy was just on theCUBE's SVP of Amazon, did the keynote. And I love the attitude from Amazon. I want to listen to the customers. Right. He's humble, that's like a standard response from an executive, you know, like, yeah, we're customer focused. Of course. They really are, but they have a product and platform that's just compelling, I mean, across sure. the board. What's your take of Amazon? You know, we, we love it, and it, it, for us it was a whole new, uh, new direction for us. We went with a typical client that went from an on-premise equipment on-premise servers, just regular code base, looking for better ways to expand, better ways to offer redundancy. Oh, and on top of all that, you need to save money. And, and Amazon was just the, you know, the perfect choice for that. So one of the things that we've been talking about here in theCUBE all week is data. The first announcement on day one with Andy Jassy was business intelligence, a tenth of the cost, total disruption, low hanging fruit, then you got all this tooling, database as a service, you got Aurora, fastest growing service today, Internet of Things. It's a data world now, and Absolutely. you guys are a customer of Attunity, Cube alum, um, Lawrence has been on many times, so Attunity. That's a big game changer for you guys. Can you talk about your relationship with, with Attunity? Because Attunity's got this relationship with Amazon. Right. They're an ecosystem partner. Sure. So that's Amazon's entire thing is like, helping people. So the hardest part about going to Amazon is getting there, getting from your on-prem to Amazon. And you know, if you want to, you can spend years setting up your servers and everything, but come time to cut over, you need to have the real data live in the new center. And if you've got uh, you know, terabytes of data, you, you can't move it overnight, you can't move it in the blink of an eye. And there's that real-time uh, data that you need to get moved as soon as you cut the switch on the old place. And that's where Attunity came in. They, they introduced us to a, their product, which helped us be, you know, cloud beam our data from our data center into, into Amazon. And we took what we had timed as a 12 to 24 hour downtime to get uh, moved over to just seconds. It really took us under you know, a few minutes to get moved from our data center and up because we had prepped all the data through Attunity software. Well, so what are the consequences for not making that move? So for Leasehawk, we run a phone, phone routing system. So our clients are, are the multifamily apartment industry that uh, get their phone calls and they route them through us. If we're down for 12 hours, that means we're not routing calls for 12 hours. That means they're not getting reports for 12 hours, and that's just unacceptable. So we needed a better so solution. So this is an impact to your business, big it's time. Absolutely, it's absolutely an impact to our and business. And you were doing on-prem, describe why the cloud, was it just problematic on downtime? Well, Too much uh, support, people support, technology? It's, it's everything. So, so uh, you know, obviously if you go from one data center, you start looking at redundancy. You know that the data center is a single point of failure, so let's look at a second data center. Well, therein you're looking at replication anyway and essentially doubling your costs, if not more, and there's the expanding, uh, you know, how much, how many phone calls am I going to get next month? I have an idea, but I don't, you know, I have to buy extra servers to handle that. Then you start looking at a service like Amazon and it becomes obvious that, hey, with the auto scaling, with, uh, with being able to run things in multiple zones, this is the perfect solution. So I was talking to Lawrence at Attunity at Big Data NYC, the event we had uh, just last week in New York City, where it's a different world. I mean, it's a little bit different world there. There are POCs moving to production. Hadoop certainly has not evolved over, but other big data solutions are out there. They're a big player in that. But one of the things we talked about was this idea of time to value, right? right. And that was a big value problem from Attunity. Are they delivering on that? I mean, and what specifically are they offering you? What, when was, when did, what was the tipping point for you with Attunity? The tipping point was when we started doing our own benchmarks and looked at, at what it would cost us to replicate our own data uh, without using compression, there's the old way of just backing it up and restoring it somewhere else, and there's the, the speed of speed recovery, and Attunity made it a no-brainer. It, it really was you know, night and day between hours and seconds. What do, you, what do you think of the show here? For the folks that aren't, watch, that aren't here live, that are watching um, uh, on camera right now, what's the vibe of the show? What is happening? What's the big story? What's the big takeaway? It's a great show because there's so many different aspects of it. There's a lot of excitement here. You've got new products, you've got old products. You've got classical 
uh, Amazon services like EC2 and, and RDS, which have been around for years and are fairly easy to understand. And you've got new concepts that, that are, you know, two days ago nobody heard of, and today they're, uh, they're yesterday they're announced, and today they've got breakout sessions on it. So you can learn your, your new stuff, and you can find out more and what you don't know about the old stuff. So you're you're solid on AWS. Yes, absolutely. I've been using it for three years now. We've been 100% in AWS since 2014. Uh, advice to other practitioners out there that are watching um, your experience, what you should, what they could experience, what they could do. Well, certainly, you know, use the available resources at Amazon. You know, you've got uh, sales advisors and engineers that can really help you model you know, the, the right solution for your needs. Everybody's different, and no white paper is going to simply identify everything that your business needs to do. All right, Ken Lingard, Lee Hawk. We got a customer in here talking about the real world. They love Amazon, everyone loves Amazon here. Obviously, it's the Amazon show. We're theCUBE, bringing you live coverage. We'll be right back after this short break.